So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at what the Bundesliga team of the season could look like if the first half of the season is similar to the upcoming second half. I uploaded a video like this last week based on the Premier League and you guys wanted me to cover other leagues, so today we're going to talk about the German top division. Now before we get into the players, let me just say, I don't watch the Bundesliga regularly, so I've had to do a lot of research for this video. I've spent a lot of time looking up player stats and reading articles from journalists and analysts who do watch a lot of football from this league regularly. I also watched a bunch of the Bundesliga YouTube channel, which by the way is awesome. I wish the Premier League one was like it. The media people for the Bundesliga channel produce some really good stuff. Anyway, if you disagree with some of the players in this video, that's fair enough. Let me know which ones you disagree with in the comments and also let me know who you would replace them with. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And also in the comments, let me know which league you want me to do this kind of video on next. Okay, so at the halfway point of the season, the Bundesliga currently looks like this. Borussia Dortmund are currently top and they are ahead of Bayern Munich by 6 points. Do you guys think Dortmund will go on to win the league or do you think that Bayern or another club will come and claim that top spot come the end of the season? Anyway, enough of all that, let's get into the players. Here we go then. The two goalkeepers I've gone for are Jan Sommer and Peter Gulaxi. Now, we'll talk about Jan Sommer first. So far, he has claimed seven clean sheets, and he's the fifth busiest goalkeeper in the German top division. And what I mean by that is, he's made the fifth most saves in the league. Gladbach have a good defensive record, and that's partly down to Sommer's performances. He's been top class for them this season. The other goalkeeper, Peter Galaxi, the former Liverpool and Hull City man, um, has also claimed seven clean sheets this season, and his side has the best defensive record in the league. He's made some incredible saves throughout the first 17 games, and was actually dubbed Mr. Clean Sheet by the official Bundesliga channel for a bit. Moving on to the defenders, let's first talk about Joshua Kimmich, the Bayern Munich defender. This guy has become a very handy player for Bayern Munich. He's not only been solid when playing right back, he's also been pretty good when playing in midfield, which he's been doing a lot of as of late. He's got one goal and seven assists so far this season, and yeah, he's just playing well recently, very well recently. Um, for most of the season, he's played right back. That's why I've given him a right back card for now. But um, like I said, as of late, he has been playing a lot in midfield. Next to him is Ibrahima Kanate, and on the end of the page is Deo Upamecano. Now, hopefully I've got at least one of their names right, hopefully both, but um, knowing me, probably neither. Um, anyway, the RB Leipzig duo have been incredible so far this season, and together they have been arguably the best defensive pairing in the league. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't too sure about including both of them in this video, but I couldn't decide which one to drop, so just ended up keeping them both. Kanate is 19 and Upamecano is 20. They are both incredibly young, especially for centre-backs playing regularly. You normally have at least one um, older defender playing. But anyway, both of these youngsters are performing really well in the league so far this season and they have helped make RB Leipzig the best defensive side in the league thus far. On the next page, we have some more defenders. We have another defensive duo from the same team, with both Hakimi and Piszczek being selected. Dortmund have been pretty solid in both defence and attack this year, and their fullbacks have been a key part of that, defending when needing to and helping out in attack when they can. Piszczek so far has scored once and got five assists this season, and he also averages nearly three tackles interceptions and clearances per game which by the way is very freaking impressive the moroccan hakimi isn't actually a dortmund player he's a real madrid player on loan but um there's a reason that dortmund really want to keep this kid on a permanent basis the 20 year old has scored once in the bundesliga and has got four assists to his name he's played both right and left back and he was included in the bundesliga websites under 21 team of the season so far the player in the middle of this page is Nico Elvedi. It's becoming a common theme for me to talk about young centre-backs in this video. This guy is only 22, but he showed incredible maturity when playing, and he's been fantastic at the back for Borussia Mönchengladbach so far this season. Moving on, the next page features one final defender and two other interesting midfield cards. The final defender we're going to talk about is Wolfsburg Rusilon. Um, he's probably been Wolfsburg's best player this season, 
and he's got a goal and an assist to his name so far and to be honest he's just one of the more consistent performers in the league he's been very solid at left back for his side and should he get a team this season card it looks like it could be fantastic I actually really liked his team this season card in FIFA 18 anyway moving on talking of consistent performers Axel Witzel has been incredible for Borussia Dortmund. For some, he's been the Bundesliga signing of the season. He has come in and he's been the anchor in Dortmund's midfield and he has really helped them crack on with a push for the title. Um, the third player on this page is Kerem Demirbe. I hope I've got his name right. Um, he's been Hoffenheim's star man this season and he's actually the league's best chance creator. He's had a few injuries which have limited his playing time but when he fit, he's incredibly influential for his side. On the next page, we have three very good young players. Every player on this page is younger than me and that makes me feel both old and sad. While they're playing professional football, I'm in my room wondering which one of them is going to end the season with a blue card. Anyway, let's talk about them. We'll start by talking about uh, Neuhaus. This guy, at just 21, has featured in all 17 games for his side this season. He scored once and he set up another seven goals. So one goal and seven assists for him. In the middle of the page, we have Borussia Dortmund's Jadon Sancho. The 18-year-old has been incredible for his side. He scored six times and he's also got seven assists. He's performed more successful take-ons than anyone else in the division and yeah, he's just having a really good time at Dortmund. The final player on this page is Kai Havertz. Despite being just 19, he's been leading his side to victories. His general creativity and his eye for goal from midfield has been key. He's scored six times in the Bundesliga and he's also picked up two assists. All three of these players feature in the under-21 Bundesliga team of the season so far, which is selected by the Bundesliga themselves. And I'll leave a link to that article in the description below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Anyway, let's get on to some more attacking players. This next page features Dortmund's Paco Alcacer and Frankfurt's attacking duo Luka Jovic and Sebastian Haller. Paco Alcacer is currently the Bundesliga's joint top goal scorer, so that alone would get him into the team of the season. He's scored 12 times so far from 12 appearances. What makes his goal scoring record kind of impressive is he's only started 5 games. He's been subbed on in 7 other matches. Luka Jovic, like many other players in this video, featured in the under-21 team of the season so far. He's scored 12 Bundesliga goals and he's also claimed 3 assists in 14 appearances for his side. This guy scored 5 goals in one game in October when his side Frankfurt beat Dusseldorf 7-1. Jovic hasn't been the only goal scorer for Frankfurt though. His partner, Sebastian Haller, has been incredible for his side this season. In the Bundesliga alone, Haller has scored 9 goals and he's also got 8 assists. That's mad. Haller arguably has been the best striker in the Bundesliga so far. On the penultimate page, we have the three T's. We have Timo Werner, Thiago and Foggen Hazard. Um, the speedy forward Werner has scored 11 goals this season and he's also claimed two assists. He's one of the league's top goal scorers and his goals have been key for RB Leipzig. Thiago has been a key man in the midfield for Bayern this season. He's been consistently classed for his side. He's only got a single goal and a single assist to his name, but those numbers aside, this guy has been so important this season for Bayern Munich. And without him, I don't think they would be second in the league right now. His performances have not gone unnoticed. He's been very good for his team. The final player on this page is Forgan Hazard. This guy is having a brilliant season. He's got more Man of the Match awards than any other player in the league. He scored 9 goals and he's also got 6 assists to his name. He's been brilliant and I don't think anyone will disagree with this selection. Now we arrive on the final page. Here we have Marco Royce, Alessand player and Robert Lewandowski. Marco Royce in previous years has been playing on the left, but this season he's mainly started through the middle. He's been playing in an attacking midfielder role this year centrally, and so far that's proved to be a good move for him. He scored 11 goals and he's also set up 5 other goals directly for his side. Royce has been a huge difference maker for Borussia Dortmund this season, and I'll be hoping he can lead his side to the Bundesliga title this year. Alessand player hasn't been too great in the past month or so, but prior to that, from the end of August to the end of November, 
he was fantastic. The French forward, despite having a dip in form recently, is still one of the league's top goal scorers. He's got nine goals and he's also got three assists this season. The final player on this page and the final player we're going to talk about in depth in this video is Bayern Munich's Robert Lewandowski. The Polish striker has scored 10 goals and has 5 assists to his name so far this season. So those are the 23 players I have gone for. In the comments below, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the players I've spoken about in today's video. I'm sure a bunch of you watch more Bundesliga football than I do. I had to do a lot of research to produce this video and I'll leave links to the websites that I use to help me produce this video in the description below so if you want to know where I got the information about these players from check out the description box also while you're um, typing a comment let me know which league I should cover next should I do La Liga and um, the Serie A or League 1 let me know if you could leave a like on the video that would be awesome thanks for watching I will catch you in the next one